a story that has been on the lips of many lately. The National Assembly Finance Committee Chair, Kuria Kimani, saying now that scrapping of the proposed motor vehicle tax in the finance bill would result in a budget deficit of 58 billion shillings. The committee chair who made the revelation during the ongoing participation exercise on the bill called on those opposed to the tax to propose alternative ways to meet the deficit that will ensure a win-win solution. Our reporter Abdi Aziz Hashim with the details. Day six of the public hearing on the bill saw the American Chamber of Commerce propose the 2.5 motor vehicle tax be reduced to 1%. Additionally, they argued subjecting commercial and agricultural vehicles to the tax will increase the operating cost of manufacturers and suppliers, thus driving up the cost of goods and services. Um, of course, we appreciate that this tax is quite steep. We look at the fact, factors that insurance right now is going at 4 to 5% uh, at a comprehensive level. Adding a 2.5% can be quite, quite uh, significant on taxpayers. On the other hand, the Association of Kenya Insurance won the tax expunged in its entirety. So what will happen is that the number of comprehensive covers are going to reduce significantly because people will no longer afford comprehensive covers. They would rather move on to third-party insurance covers. And what does this mean to you and I who are going to be the insured? It means that we are sitting on a risk in the event of an accident, God forbid. What means is that the insurance companies will only cover claims relating to third parties, but will not cover your own claim. So that means that you have to go back to your pocket. According to the association, out of the over 3 million registered vehicles on the roads, 1.5 million have not been insured. And if the proposal by Treasury is adopted, the figure could rise and increase unemployment. But then, if that matter to then was to attract tax at 2.5% at of value, um, and these matatos, um, if you're looking at the 25-seater, uh, the price is in the range of uh, 7 uh, 8 million. I'm not too sure that we'll be able to provide these people with insurance. On the other option then, if we have to really get rid of it, we need to reduce the budget by 58 billion. Now the problem is, uh, nobody wants the budget to, okay, not, 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 not this side, but uh, <laughs> the, the political side. The introduction of withholding tax on the digital marketplace, they argued, will impact the pricing mechanism and trigger an increase in the prices of goods and services distributed through digital platforms hampering the adoption of e-commerce. In the face of these uh, increasing tax burdens, um, usually reduces their disposable income. People are hiring more to, to remain tax compliant and firing more where we actually need um, development. The stakeholders have further proposed a revision of excise duty on vegetable oils from 25% to 5% to ensure Kenyans do not opt for unhealthy oils to save costs. When, when you're moving the finance bill, everyone wants to oppose it, okay? When you're moving the appropriations bill, everyone wants to increase it. So that is irony, that members of parliament want their budget increased, but they don't want the taxes. Abdiaz is Ashim for Prime Edition.